K-Wave 107.9, your home for worship and the word, also known as KWBE-FM, KWBE-HD, San Clemente. Since it's really close to the top of the hour, I better make it legal. I'm Brian Perez. I'm here with Michael David. We are at the Labor of Love Music Fest at Bolsa Chica State Beach. Everything is about to wrap up. We have had an amazing day uh, on stage with all the different musical artists. You might hear Phil Wickham. He's wrapping things up right now. Uh, before him, we had Sanctus Real, who is about to soon embark on their farewell tour for their lead singer. He'll be uh, leaving the band, uh, as you heard in the uh, interview that we did a few hours ago. Uh, we also had Title Love, which is the worship team at Calvary Chapel of the Harbor, and Enterline, and the Scott Cunningham Band. But it wouldn't be complete unless we talked to the two people that are who had the vision for putting all this together three years ago. And those two people are Pastor Joe Pettick and his wife Kathleen from Calvary Chapel of the Harbor. How are you guys? We're doing great, Brian. How are you doing? You look good considering you've only had four hours of sleep. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how, how does something like this start? First of all, tell us, this is the third one in a row. Correct. So um, how did you guys get the vision to do something like this? How much time we have? Uh, <laughs> 10 seconds, go. 10 seconds, no. okay. God. Yeah, hey, there you go, and that wraps things up. We'll see you next year. No, no. Yes, uh, well, it started in prayer. We, uh, we wanted to reach out uh, outside of the four walls of our church, and we kept praying and praying. I think we prayed for what, like nine years, and uh, nothing was happening, no doors were all closed, and then finally uh, we went to the State Beach here, Bolsa Chica State Beach. We asked uh, if they would allow us to do a, a little concert on the beach, and everybody, like five people in a row, said no, 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 no. And then finally, there's a, there's a person there that calls all the shots. He just so happened to be there that day, and he says, if I say yes, you guys can do it. And I believe we're the very first concert they've ever had on their state beach. And so God just used uh, just a, some the events, just came together, and that's it, and here we are. But. Uh, the biggest thing is we want to reach out into our community. Our church is right down the street, and we saw that today. We just saw, you know, many people respond to the gospel of Jesus Christ, and that's that's what it's all about. You know, for the people to hear the good news of Jesus, and many lives, uh, you know, people were touched, uh, hands were raised, and we're hoping that uh, they truly gave their life to Jesus. Right, and you can only know after the fact when you follow up with the discipleship and try yes. to get them all plugged yes. into a church somewhere. It doesn't even have to be a Calvary Chapel of the Harbor no. if they live far away. You know, it's exactly. just, as long as they get plugged in somewhere Absolutely. and uh, Absolutely. you know they start uh, just Absolutely. reading the Word, yes. learning how to pray. Um, so an amazing event. If you knew that it was going to take you nine years before you finally got this, would you have just gone straight to the uh, City Council first and uh, done it that way, or? Um, well, actually, this is a state beach, so the, it's not the or, city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually, it's a, a whole different dynamic because it's a state and not the city. But yeah, um, I wish, you know, looking looking back, it's like, wow, I wish we would have done that earlier. But uh, I think it was all in God's timing. Yeah, I think God yeah. was working on us and preparing uh, the right people uh, to, to be a part of this. And now, if you see, it's just, we just uh, the Lord just raised up the right people to make it happen yeah. because this thing's way beyond us. And uh, we're not the only church that's involved here. We have other churches, local churches, coming alongside of us and helping right. us. But I think it was just all God's timing. Awesome. And, and the crew that you have here, you've got so many talented people that go to your church. I mean, in all different aspects of audio and video and, and everything else. And uh, so just to see it all come together, everybody using their gifts to put on the Labor of Love Music Fest every year. Totally amazing. I mean, I'm we're blown away just about every day when we see the gifts and the talents. Because it's not only, as you said, we gifted people, but it's precise. It's every gift that we need, God raises up just the right person, just yep. the right timing. And then if someone moves away and out of state, we're finding that God just raises up someone typically even better than the one that, that left. Wow. I mean, if you're awesome. listening on the radio, I'm sorry if that was you. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that, that's what we see, though. Right, so, right. Uh, yeah, so that's... Now, of all the uh, talented artists that we had here leading worship today, um, somebody that we did not know that sang, at least I didn't know, was you, Miss Kathleen. All of a sudden, you go up on stage and you bless us with uh, Amazing Grace. Yes. Yeah, I remember sitting here thinking, wait, who is that? And uh, somebody said, oh, it's Kathleen. I'm like, no way. We didn't know you had it in you. Um, yeah, that was my old life, my VC life. Uh, the Lord is just, uh, you know, Today was one of those days where it was kind of under pressure to sing because they're going, are you guys singing? I go, I don't feel this is the venue for it. You know, oh, here's the pastor.
else is right funny up and sing a song. You know? Right. But and she's I got an amazing, amazing, amazing voice. That's because I sang Amazing Grace, that's why I said that. <laughs> <laughs> but it was beautiful, Brian, because uh, everybody sang with me. And uh, it was beautiful. We had a choir, just like we did church today. Yeah, awesome, awesome. Now, before you actually were singing Amazing Grace, you used to sing different kinds of songs in Scotland, right? Yes. What, sure what kind did. of songs were that? Well, I was a jazz singer. I would do uh, secular games before I knew the Lord. I was 21 years in the music industry. Uh, so, yeah. And you knew the Lord, and did your boyfriend give you an ultimatum at some point? Yes, he did. At one point, he did. Actually, Ralph Reese uh, came to the hotel where I sang back in uh, 1989 or 1990. I don't remember which year. And I heard the gospel for the first time. I received the Lord, and then I was going to get married over there. Like you said, uh, my boyfriend gave me an ultimatum. It was him or Jesus. And I chose Jesus, never looked back, because waiting for me over here, finally, 10 years later, was my wonderful pastor God had, God had better plans for her. <laughs> I agree. I agree. So how did you guys meet? How did you guys oh, meet? wow. That's a long story. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Go. God. <laughs> she can do it faster than me. Go ahead. How well, we met at Calvary Chapel, Costa Mesa. I worked for Pastor Chuck for 20 years. Jill came in one day from Michigan. Long story short. We, I had never dated for 10 years, he had never dated for 5 years. The Lord just brought us together and it was incredible. We were married 8 weeks later. Whoa! By amazing divine and feeling the Lord. It was just a miracle of putting us together. It was incredible. And it still is incredible. Amen. Amen. Yeah, just uh, amazing how God put it together. But uh, we just pray, wait on the Lord, and when you wait for the Lord, I believe, you know, God gives His best. And I can say, without a shadow of a doubt, God gave me His best. Um, some people settle for wood, hay, and stubble, and I got gold. <laughs> uh, uh, He's so that's sweet. I'm telling you the truth. I did. That's awesome. Very blessed. Yes, you are. Well, guys, hey, no, Mike, go ahead. You. Why don't you want to go married? Yeah, Pastor Chuck Smith married us. Also I had to, me down the aisle too. Yeah, I had to ask for her hand in marriage, uh, by the way. Yeah. Wow. By two pastor chaps. Yeah, two pastor chaps. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. How did yeah. that go? It wasn't fun. Oh. <laughs> it wasn't fun. <laughs> Describe he it. He asked me Describe every it. question under the sun. How long have I been saved? Where do I work? And I just... Now, um, now and the reason he was asking, he, the, the reason he grilled you is because he had known you, Kathleen, for 20 years. Yes, he yes, wasn't yes, just going to let yes, you go yeah, into the hands yeah, of... Okay, yeah. so go from there. Yeah, yeah just, uh, yeah, Pastor Chuck uh, basically said, uh, she's like a daughter to me, and we're very fond of her, and we need to get to know you. And so that was the right thing to do, and praise God, he agreed, and uh, I didn't have to pay him too much either. So. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, you guys, thank you so much. Uh, 2016, are we doing another plan on it. What's the, plan okay. on it. Yeah, we plan on it. Uh, I believe, you know, within weeks or so, we, we secure the place again. And, uh, and when we plan on it, the Lord uh, doesn't come first. I'm, I'm praying that the Lord comes first. Right, right, right. But yes, 2016, Labor of Love Music Fest, 2016. Always on the Saturday before Labor Day. Yes. Amen. Yeah, always on the Labor Saturday. Club. Awesome. Yeah. So mark your calendars. Look for your 2017 calendars. First thing you do when you buy your calendar in a few months, go to September, and that Saturday before Labor Day, yes. mark it off. Ask for the day off, whatever you need to do to be here next year. Unless, like you said, Joe, Jesus comes first. Then, then we'll all be celebrating up in heaven. So Joe and Kathleen Pettick, thank you so much for uh, stopping by and for uh, doing what you do here. Not, not just here at the Labor of Love, but also at the... Uh, your church, Calvary Chapel at the Harbor, and uh, we just pray that uh, God continues to bless you guys. Thank you. Thank you to K-Way. We so appreciate you guys. Just yeah. appreciate at Calvary Costa Mesa and all their help. And yeah, and that's not just words. I mean, we We're truly together. mean it. It's, uh, we've been family for these last three years, uh, laboring together. It's yep. just a blessing, truly. I want to say that K-Way has been a, a blessing in each one of you guys. have really blessed our lives, and we see the, the gifts and talents that you have, and God's using you guys. So thank you, K-Way. Yes. 107.9, the Absolutely. wave of living water. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for stopping by. And, of course, the Glory to Glory radio program heard every uh, Saturday afternoon at 1.30 on K-Wave, including today. We did play it today. And uh, so people hey. were listening to you on the radio, and now they're hearing you now. So that's really